appreciate that. Thank you. We're going to stay with this story now because we're going to speak to uh, Zulfikar Bukhari, who is a former special assistant to Imran Khan. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. I suppose your hope now is that he gets out and gets home safely. Yes, absolutely. But there's a there's a big but and if in that. And um, Imran Khan has just released a video from within the Islamabad High Court stating that he's been sitting there for three hours and they're making every single excuse under the sun for not letting him go. At the end of the day, both the Supreme Court and the High Court today have given him bail. Uh, Supreme Court ordered his arrest as illegal. The High Court today not only gave him bail in the existing case, but we had to go to several other courts within the High Court to get even the travel bill so he doesn't get arrested from Islamabad to Lahore and the multiple other cases, about 130 of them, uh, he, we got preemptive bail for. But regardless of that, it's now been three hours, and I want to say it on your channel, that he's not being allowed to leave. He's been detained in the high court in Islamabad, and they're making all sorts of excuses not to let him out. So, so, so I, well, well, because you've said that so clearly, and I've, I've absolutely heard it, so we were reporting earlier on, or there were reports that he was uh, waiting for the correct paperwork so that he would not be stopped or detained at a later date. But you are clearly saying he wants to leave right now and he is being detained still. That is correct. The paperwork is all done. There is no reasons to detain him. When they, when they didn't have an excuse, they said to us that he is, uh, we are worried for his safety outside, so wait a little bit. We're just waiting to clear it. There is right. no safety concern when it comes to the protesters are Imran Khan's uh, fans and followers. So there isn't really a safety concern except from the government itself. So do, you think, do you think he's going to get do you think he's going to get out tonight? You know, I think the way things are going, anything is possible. And there's no law. Uh, there's no one enforcing the law uh, or the courts at the moment. So I'm just afraid that they will find some excuse or they'll just detain him overnight in the high court. And Imran Khan has just issued a video uh, of that, saying that I'll sit in this high court if I have to. But, you know, if he doesn't come out, people are just going to start coming on the streets further and further. So well, we're going uh, we're, we're, to we're, we're, we're work. We're going to bring up that video that I think that you mentioned in just a moment. But sure. I, I, I want to talk there. You mentioned about your lack of confidence in the legal system. But I'll put it to you that actually this Supreme Court effectively, this decision has effectively sided with him. It showed his its independence. Yeah, no, I'm not saying there's a lack of confidence in the legal system. I think the legal system, especially the Supreme Court uh, and then and even the High Court today, has has been the fine line between becoming a banana republic and remaining uh, a sovereign state. And the legal system is the one that has stood up. In fact, what I'm saying is that the enforcement of the legal system is the same legal system right. that stood that stood up for democracy, that called elections in the province of Punjab on the 14th of May. But as you can see, there's no elections happening on the 14th of May. It's the enforcement of the legal system that we're more worried about, because at the moment, its might is right. And uh, that's what's happening. Someone's been given bail, but he's still being detained. Okay. Elections were called, but they're not being done. So, you know, we really appeal to everyone to raise their voices at this time and let Imran Khan free because he's a free man. OK, so let's take a quick step back. Um, you mentioned his uh, Twitter uh, page. Let's just take a quick look at that to just show uh, what you were mentioning uh, here, him talking. Uh, this is uh, PTI chairman. Uh, in my case, I should say PTI is, is his party. Uh, a video message, get ready for peaceful protests. I am illegally detained for the last three hours despite my bail being approved, which is what you were just referencing just a few moments ago.